Millie, the Rusty's Racing Center janitor pity, is one of the very few cars to be added in in the Cars 3 edition of Meet the Cars. Because of this, and because of her several speaking lines in the movie, I was really surprised to see that it took over four years for us to see her as a diecast. But hey, like I always say regarding diecasts, this is definitely better late than never, and Millie's diecast has easily become one of my favorite releases of 2021. She was definitely one of my most anticipated releases for this year. And now, yeah, having her in person, she's definitely one of my favorites. But why, you're probably wondering. She's literally just a blank white pity. And that's one of the things that I like the most about her. She's just a blank white pity. It's just a generic blank white pity, and I think that's just really nice, honestly. Not every car needs to have some sort of elaborate color scheme or paint job, and I think Millie is just a great generic blank car. But of course, the highlight of the Millie diecast is her floor cleaner, which is an incredible accessory. You even get a bonus cone, which honestly, I don't think had to be there, but you know, it's nice to get that as well. But you know, Millie having her floor cleaner begs the question, if Millie's alive, why isn't the floor cleaner? Anyway guys, welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Millie from the 2021 Cars diecast line, who is actually one of the two final unboxing reviews I'll be doing until Christmas. That's right. I don't go shopping for cars in December just so that, you know, <laughs> I, I, I'm not like buying more and more things for myself during the holiday season. Um, I'm still on the lookout for the remaining cars of 2021, Racing Red McQueen, the new Chris Rostovsky, but I'm not going to be going to any stores this month. Who knows? Maybe, hopefully, I'll get those cars for Christmas, but we'll just have to wait and see, and if not, I'm sure I'll find them in a store eventually. But while I was actually getting my Christmas tree, I stopped by a Walmart and I found Millie here. So, you know, definitely had to get her. But she and the new 2021 Ramon, who I picked up a few days ago at Target, are going to be my final two unboxing reviews until Christmas. Everything else until then will, of course, be 25 Days of Suggestions. And I also have a few birthday requests. And speaking of 25 Days of Suggestions, definitely make sure to leave your suggestions uh, in the comments below on my 25 days of suggestions video or you could leave your suggestions here the rules are simple for 25 days of suggestions each day i pick a random car for me to review as suggested by you guys one suggestion per person and you can't suggest 2021 releases or 2021 new releases that is or cars that i've reviewed this year everything else as long as i have it is fair game not fair game the demolition derby racer but i mean you, you could suggest them if you want i don't i don't know who would want to but I mean, fair game, as in you can suggest anything, as long as it doesn't fall in those restrictions. Anyway, you'd see Millie's artwork there. I absolutely love how fed up with her life she is. We've got the new for 2021 logo there, and the giant warning sticker, which is also on the back. Unfortunately, cutting off two of the cars that you would potentially see on here. But hey, these card backs are incredibly boring when it comes to showing you cars. Honestly, I've been pretty disappointed with just how similar each of these card backs is there aren't any like even like why aren't there other new releases from the same wave as millie or even from around then these are all guys that have been out like all year as seen in cars three pick crew member fillmore dinoco cruz jimmy murray and maddie there of course i could complain about uh pick crew member fillmore being labeled as as seen in cars three but technically he was he was in both the first and third Cars movies with his design unchanged going to Cars 3, so it's really not an error. All right, so we have... Why is this so difficult to open? <laughs> Hold on. Okay, we have Millie. We have Millie's floor cleaner, and we have the cone. So starting off with the cone here, I guess, uh, you guys will have to let me know whether or not this is a new cone mold. It's round, which they usually aren't. It's got white stripes, which sometimes they don't do. And there's the base. Ooh, ah, the cone. Like I said, you, I, I, I would have been perfectly fine if she didn't include the cone. It's a nice bonus, but it's pretty forgettable. Then here is Millie herself, who unfortunately is a bit more of a gray than I was hoping. Like, look at how great she is here. And then here she's definitely more of a gray. Uh, she's, I don't know. Kind of strange what they did there. It's almost like a mint green it looks, but that's perfectly fine. It's still pretty much, it's close enough to being all white. I'm just surprised that it's a bit darker than I had originally expected. 
She looks completely fed up there, which is great. I would have liked her mouth to be open like it is on the packaging, but I think this is still a great expression for her. She's just done with everything and everyone. And you know what? I get that, Millie. I, I feel you. I feel you. Um, I'm not sure whether or not her mold is new. That's another thing I'm going to ask you guys to tell me in the comments if you know. It looks pretty similar, but it's not the same as any of the other 2021 pitties. At least, I don't think it is. 2021, by the way. I think it's been a great year for pitties, and none of them are like Piston Cup ones. They've just been doing other pitties from Cars 3, and that's been really cool to see. I like how her wheels are also white like the rest of her, which again is accurate to the artwork there. Um, but yeah, hopefully we get some more of the Rusty's Racing Center uh, pitties soon. I've really wanted those for quite a while now. I love like the one that goes up to Sterling with the tablet. That one would be awesome to get. And then we have our floor cleaner, which has wheels. It doesn't roll very well because the other parts of it are a bit closer to the ground than the wheels are, but oh, it looks so great. You can see the logo for the Buffington X. That's a great product name right there. You can see just all of these really nice details. Back here, we have a little control panel for Millie, as well as this little lever. Not sure exactly what that lever uh, is supposed to do, but let's see. Is there like a slot for her? No, there's not really a, a slot for her to go. I guess she just pushes it. I thought there would be like a slot for her uh, arms to fit in, but interestingly, there isn't. That's all right, though. Still looks pretty good. Pretty sure this is how it is in the movie, though. She's just pushing it forward. I don't think she's really attached to anything, but if you're pushing it, She's definitely going to stay with it in front of her, especially if you like, especially if you lean her up against this little cord piece. She's definitely going to keep it in front of her. It's not going to like swerve away, and that's really nice. Millie is a lot more powerful when she's rolling than this is, so definitely easier uh, like that. There is a look at the base of that. It is all plastic, not even big enough to say made in Thailand. It just says Thailand in big letters, but yeah. A great 2021 release, easily one of my favorites. Really love how this one turned out, and I hope we see more like her in the future. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to leave your suggestions for 25 days of suggestions in the comments. See you guys next time. Bye now.